Hi everyone, welcome to this tutorial video where we will be exploring the latest workflow in Octane Render for SketchUp. For our current users, this workflow will look a lot different from what you're used to, so let's take a closer look at what we have here. Now we're going to check out the latest Octane Render viewport for SketchUp. For users of the Octane Render Standalone Edition, a lot of this will already look familiar to you. Let's take a closer look. You will notice a number of parameters here that you can tinker and modify in order to achieve the final desired look of your render. So here we're going to take a closer look at this by expanding the default view. Here in camera settings, we are able to modify a variety of attributes such as our physical camera settings, depth of field, viewing angle, among other things. We can also determine the type of camera we want to use. Under our environment settings, we are able to do such things as modify the octane daylight, set our own backplates, control reflections of refractions, among other things. Now the geometry, of course, refers to the geometry in the scene. Now what is particularly notable here is the material node that is associated with this geometry. Now at the moment, this is empty, but as you can see here, we can quite easily change this material to any one of the four octane material types. We will be making better use of this node later on in the tutorial. Under film settings, we are able to set the resolution of our final render as well as make use of the octane render region feature. Now you may notice that there is quite a lot to see here in the default view. Fortunately, all of this content is covered extensively in our standalone documentation. You will find all of this and more at our official Otoy documentation website, docs.otoy.com. For additional assistance, please see our official Otoy customer forums. You can also contact us directly at support at otoy.com. Now, finally, we're going to take just a really quick glance at the other settings that can also be managed through the default view. Here we see animation, your kernel settings, render layer and render path settings, imager and post. Once again, please refer to official Oto documentation where each of these settings are broken down in far greater detail. One additional point to note regarding geometry is that not only is geometry accessible from inside the default view, it is also accessible through nodes outside the default view. You will notice that as I click on elements inside the geometry group of the default view, its equivalents outside the default view are also highlighted. Another considerable change in the workflow for Octane Render for SketchUp is in the application of materials to our geometry. There are two ways of applying materials to geometry in Octane Render for SketchUp. One way was applying Octane materials directly while the other, which we shall demonstrate here, was applying SketchUp materials and converting them into Octane materials. As I right click, notice how there is no longer an option to convert the SketchUp material into an Octane material. Now when I reopen the viewport, you will now see that the SketchUp material that I have applied has already been automatically converted into Octane material. As we take a closer look, we can see that the material was converted into an octane glossy material. Next up, we will now be applying octane materials directly to our geometry. This will be done directly inside the octane render viewport. Currently, any octane materials applied here will not be reflected in the SketchUp scene view. You may recall from earlier in the video when we took a quick look at the material node that was associated with our geometry. Now this time, let's put this node to use. To assign an octane material to our geometry via this material node, we are now going to take a quick look into the live DB. I have just copied this wood material from the live DB and have pasted it directly into the material node. As we can clearly see, the material has been successfully applied. What's more, I can also paste the material that I just copied directly into the node graph editor. And here I can review 
and modify the node based setup for this material. Even better, I also have the option to save this material directly to what is called the local DB. Materials in your local DB are stored directly on your computer for future use in both your current or future scenes. This could be your favorite materials from the live DB, but it can also be materials of your very own creation. Now, once again, just as before, I will name this material, save it to the local DB, and generate the thumbnail. And now this material will be available for future use. And that was a basic overview of the new workflow for the latest version of Octane for Render SketchUp. Thank you for watching.